So guys, this is world's smallest PC to have i9 13th gen as the processor. It is so tiny it can basically fit in your pocket. So in this video, we are going to review this and I will let you know if you should buy this or not. So let's begin. So this PC is called Geekom IT13. First of all, let's see what's inside. So as I said, this is i9 13th gen processor with 14 cores and 20 threads and it can boost up to 5.4 GHz with amazing 32 gb of ram and it got 2 tb ssd storage the latest and fastest 556e and bluetooth 5.2 now the only downside here is the graphic card it has iris xe graphic card as the main graphic card but with this USB-C, you can have external graphic cards too. And we'll talk about that later in the video. It has latest super fast Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth 5.2. So personally, I have been using computers since last 20 years. And I have been always fascinated with these tiny PCs. But I always stayed away from them because they always used to have Intel Celeron or some weak processor. So if you look at this PC for first time, it might remind you of Intel NUC. But unfortunately, Intel had to say goodbye to Intel NUC. And if you're an Apple fanboy, then you might think this is new Mac Mini. But no, this is slightly different than that. And now let's unbox this beauty. First of all, you get this tiny PC, isn't it cute? And then you get this thank you card from Geekom. After that, you get HDMI and power cable. And then you get this power brick, which is actually heavier than PC. And it is very obvious that you can't put power supply into this tiny form factor and aesthetically this won't look bad with the pc and a tiny stand to mount your pc on the monitor or wall if this was mac mini from apple this stand would cost only 899 now let's have a look at this pc the build quality is actually premium it's sturdy there is no cracking noise when you press it it got two usb 3 at front one audio jack and of course power button on the side it got SD card slot, not many PC comes with that. And at the back, you got plenty of ports plus exhaust. There is a power hole, 2 USB-C, 2 HDMI, yes it can connect to 2 monitors, 1 USB 3 and 1 USB 2 and of course Ethernet port for your fast internet. Now you get all these under $800, now if you compare to Apple's Mac Mini, you get 4 times the storage and 4 times the RAM, which is really really good deal and this is even smaller than Apple Mac Mini. Now let's see how this performs, of course it can do normal tasks like Microsoft Word, Chrome, normal browsing and stuff, but when you do video editing, it is definitely better than I expected, I did not have any problem editing this video on this tiny machine. And if you're into photo editing and if you use Photoshop every day, this is the perfect device for you. Because not only it can smoothly edit all your photos in Photoshop, you can take this device any way you want. Now of course you can say why don't you just buy a laptop. And it's becoming a trend, get your compact device plus a tiny monitor with small keyboard to have your setup on the go. If you know the laptops are really expensive and you won't get 32 GB of RAM and 2 TB of storage in this price range if you buy a laptop. Now let's talk about the gaming. Of course, this device can game, but there are some limitations because it doesn't have dedicated graphic card. So the very first game I tasted is the Forza Horizon 5. Now this one is a demanding game, but still I got around 55 to 50 FPS constantly on 720p. Now if you want, you can make it to 1080p, but then you will get 30 FPS. Then again I tried Cyberpunk, again is 35 to 40 FPS. It is playable on this tiny machine, but you can't expect more. And of course, how can I forget GTA 5? I got around 30 to 35 FPS and the CPU time was around 70. Intel Iris is really pushing hard. The GPU is around 86% of the use. But if you use the external GPU using USB-C, then you can play any game 1080p above 60 FPS. But if you're into casual gaming, then you should definitely get this device. All the fans are running at full speed when you're doing some heavy task. But still I'm surprised that you can run any AAA title on this machine. But if you want to have this kind of mini PC, I will drop all the links in the description. And if you use my coupon code shown on the screen, you can have $30 off or directly 2% off if you use Game of Thrones coupon code. I will drop all the details in the description, so make sure you check that out and I will see you in the next video.